I've wanted to make something rotate here in PowerPoint. And as you can see, I actually got a little bit carried away here by putting these gears together and each one of them rotating. And this can look really effective. Let me show you what I want to do, which is this one. And when I click on it, you can see that it's doing this rotating here. And you can do that just by using an animation. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Let's go into home here. Let's just add a new slide, a new blank slide. And you can rotate pretty much anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my insert and I'm going to get that gear that I had before because I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go over to icons. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to type in gear and you can see it's come up with some here. It's already got two like this here and here. And I don't want those because I can't make those rotate against each other. They're just static. But I've got either of these two. And I think this one here is the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on Insert. I can move it around. I can make it bigger. And there it is. It's not doing anything yet. What I need to do is go to Animations here on my ribbon at the top. And over here, you can see in this second block along, it's actually got spin. Now, if you can't see it, you can always click on this down arrow here, and you can then look for it here. And by the way, this works on Windows or Mac, but I am using a Mac here, but don't worry about that. So let's just choose spin. And there you go, it's going to give me a preview. OK, so let me just go into my slideshow here. And there it is. So it's not doing anything until I click, and it's going to rotate for a couple of seconds, and that's it. So let's escape out of that. Let's have a look at the properties. So what I'm going to do, let me go to my animation pane, which is here in animations on the ribbon, and let me just click on that. And there it is. It's called Graphic 2. Let me click on it. It's going to spin 360 degrees clockwise. You could do half a spin. Let's have a look at that. Don't want that. That only did half. Might be hard to tell, but I'm going for the full 360 degree spin. Now, what it does down here, let's just take a look at a few things. So I want this to start as soon as the slide starts. So where it says on click, I'm going to go with previous, and the previous is the transition. There's no delay to it starting. You could add in a delay and the repeats down here. I'm going to have it until the next click. OK, so I'll have to click to stop it. Let's have a quick look. OK, there you go. It started automatically. Maybe it's spinning just a bit too quick. And you can see it's just going to keep going round and round until I press escape. OK, let's just change the speed. Let's just slow it down to say three seconds. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's more like what I'm looking for. Now with that, you could actually have slowed it down more. You could have sped it up. You could have made it fast or very fast. You can even decide how long you want it to do it for. So you can keep adjusting it yourself. I could just type that in if I wanted. Although that's way too long. Let's go for this for the three seconds. OK, so what I had before was the gear and also another one, and they were spinning against each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to right click, copy. Let's right click again and choose paste. And let's move that here. Now, I need to line these up. I want these this gear here to be so that they're lining up here. Let's see if I can get this just right. Let's oh, maybe a little bit more. I don't want to spend too much time on this. It's not bad, actually. How about that? Yeah, why not? Let's keep it with that. Let's look at the animation here. So that is that one. So let's see what happens when I do this. Let's do my slideshow. Except I want the other one to spin in the other direction, doesn't go the right way, does it? OK, let's go back to it. OK, so what I'm going to do over here, 
in my property, so I'm here on my animation pane. Let me click on the 360 degrees clockwise, and you guessed it, down here, it's got anti-clockwise. Boom, let's check that out. Now that's more like it. In fact, that's pretty close. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. So in the other version, I did have three wheels. Now, if it goes over here, it's going to be spinning in the same direction as this because it's going to connect to that one. So let's just uh, do the paste again. It should still be there. Let's move it around. And oh, that's probably going to be a bit close. I'm actually using the arrow keys to move it around. Let's try that. So there you go. That's something that could really stand out for you. So that's how you can make something rotate. But what else could rotate? Maybe I can add in a text box here and let's call this rotate. Let's click on that. Go to my animations, spin, and it's also doing something like that again. So things you can do, you can have a smooth start, smooth end. You can bounce at the end or smooth either one. Let's see what the difference is. You see it just kind of glides in nicely there. Um, so that was that one. Let me just take that. I could bounce the end. Let's have a look. Here you go. It's kind of fun. And you can also auto reverse as well. So let's do that. And I'm just going to click on it. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of fun, isn't it? So you can really make your PowerPoint presentations stand out. So that is how you can make items rotate on PowerPoint. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.